I'd like to go over a few of the standard library functions. First one we'll cover is bin. So I tell the system, system, I'd like you to take the number 5, and I'd like you to, to convert it to binary, and take the answer you get, and assign that to X. That looks good. I hit enter. Now I didn't get an error. That's even better. What's in X? Oh my god, that's the binary version of 5. There's 1, 2, and 4. So 4 and 1 is 5. It worked out well. Let's now try and convert this binary guy, which is in X, back to 5. Alright, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to tell the system, take X, and comma, and then a 2. The 2 means that X's data is in base 2 format. And I'd like you to convert him into an integer. And I hit enter. And there we go. He's right back to 5. So we started at 5, converted it to binary. Then we took this number, which was in base2 format. And we had it in the variable x and converted it to an integer. And there it is. Let's do another one. Can I add 5 plus 3 and convert that to binary and assign that to x? Let's find out. I think I can. I should get 8. And there it is. 8. How can I get this guy back to change it back into an integer? Well, take x, which is base2 format. Change that back to an integer. So I should get 8. And I do. Well, can I do this? Can I say binary 5 plus binary 3? Can I do that and get away with it? Oh, I get, uh, I get string concatenation. That's what I get. Now, what would happen if I took this and assigned it to x? So x would now equal this. Could I take that x, which is in base2 format, and convert it to an integer? Or would I get an error? A big error. Well, let's do class bool. Now, bool is going to return a true or a false. That's the only two instances these got, this guy has. False is zero or empty. So let's do the bool of five. And I should get a true back. And I do. Let's try this time the bool of one. And I get back a true. How about the bool of bill? That's not an empty. I should get back a true again. And I do. But what about now the bool of zero? I should get a false on this. And I do. Now let's do some empties. Bool of, and now I'm going to do squares. Open, close, squares. And I hit enter. And again, I get a false. Because that list was empty. Let's do a bool of curlies. Let's see if uh, empty dictionary will give me the same thing. And I get a false again. We're on a roll now. Let's try for one more false. Single quote, and a single quote. And I hit enter, and it gave me true. Why? Because I cheated. I put a space here. If you do that with a string, you get a real space. That's something. If you do that with the curlies, you'll get away with it. If you do that with the squares, you'll get away with it. But you can't do that with a string. You won't get away with it, as you just saw. So now let me key in bool, and now... Single quote, single quote. This time it really is empty. No space. And I get a false. Well, that's it for now. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.